Hey guys, it's James again. Uh, I thought I'd do another uh, installment of Why I Love Macbeth. Um, I'm, I took some notes this time, so hopefully I won't ramble, and this will be a shorter, uh, a shorter installment. That's what I'm trying to do anyway. Uh, by the way, uh, the reason that I think that Shakespeare was possibly a Catholic came from a biography. I, I looked it up, and I think it is Will in the World by Stephen Greenblatt. Um, it was, a uh, uh, it was up for the Pulitzer Prize, uh, and, um, I think, it, anyway, if you're interested in that. Also, uh, Of Jesuits and Witches was just a seminal book for me was I, when, I, when I was researching the play. Uh, that has a lot to do with the way I see, uh, Macbeth. That's by Gary Wills. So, um, last time we just covered the gunpowder powder plot, the Guy Fawkes Rebellion. Uh, so I just want to kind of go to the theme of the play. Um, so uh, the reason that um, the gunpowder plot was so bad <laughs> it was the worst thing that could possibly happen in Shakespeare's world was first the king was God's instrument on earth, the Elizabethans believed. God chose that person to lead England at that time. All kings are God's instrument. And so to kill the king is to defy God, which is the worst thing you can possibly do. Um, the attack used gunpowder, which was uh, at the time a very mysterious and relatively new substance to Europeans. It had the same kind of uh, the same kind of mythology as like the atom bomb had in the 50s. Like you set that off and Godzilla might come out of the ocean. Nobody knows what happens when you set off gunpowder. And the Catholics were using a lot of gunpowder underneath the parliament building for their plot. Uh, this, yeah, so um, the attack would have taken down the entire English government. Uh, it would have blown up all of Parliament and all of the royal family. Uh, so England would have been just thrown into absolute chaos uh, if that had happened. Um, and the plotters, as I mentioned before, held a mass underground uh, to commemorate and pray to God that it would be successful the night before it was supposed to have taken place, although it failed. Uh, and. Since they were planning to defy God by killing the king, it was technically a black mass, which meant that they were in league with the devil. So, um, but Shakespeare, uh, Shakespeare balances things. He's, ta he's, he's writing a play where uh, it's, in, it's in Scotland in 652, and Shakespeare had... Um, uh, he had a history book called the Hollingshed uh, book, which was uh, the preeminent history book available to him at that time. Uh, and it covered like 300 plus years of English and European history. Uh, it's one of the reasons I'm, I don't always agree with changing the time and place of a Shakespeare play, is because you know, Shakespeare had like 300 years worth of history to choose from. Uh, and adding a few centuries onto that, uh, it, it may be that he did choose the best place and the best time to put his plays. And so when we take them out of those places and times, sometimes we, we miss something. Uh, it, it, it does work sometimes. The Baz Luhrmann, Romeo and Juliet was awesome. The um, Ian McKellen, Richard III, uh, that took place in uh, fascist Italy was very good. Uh, so it can work, but Oftentimes not. Anyway, um, at that time, uh, in 652 Scotland, the only way to be the king, to become the king, was to kill the king. It was not a, a hereditary uh, crown. Uh, you had to take it on the battlefield. Um, the Victorians, uh, Shakespeare and, and his friends in England, uh, they thought this was just barbaric. Uh, what it meant was is that every 30 years or so there would be civil war uh, and so much bloodshed over who was going to be the new king. But that's the way they were doing it. Um, 
Duncan, in the play, the king, is an aged king. He's old. He can't fight for himself anymore. Uh, and everyone knows he's on the way out. Uh, and Macbeth is the best warrior in Scotland. And it's pretty obvious who the next king is going to be. It's going to be Macbeth, and everyone knows it. Uh, also, Duncan, the king, is screwing everybody else in the play. First, by not paying them for showing up uh, to quell an Irish rebellion. Uh, the beginning of the play, the Irish uh, are on the shores and invading Scotland, and Duncan needs a lot of help, so he calls to all the thanes. They all help him. They put it down. Uh, and then uh, Duncan says, you know, I'm going to give you thanks, but I'm not going to pay you, which is horrible because, you know, it costs money to, 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 to muster an army and to feed them and to get them on the battlefield and everything. And Duncan's like, nah, you guys pay for it. You guys saved my life. I'm still going to be the king, but, but um, thanks. Goodbye. Um, and mo most importantly, he <laughs> names his son Prince of Cumberland, which is the stepping stone to the Scottish throne. He gets all of the thanes, all of the, the royalty who backed him up on the battlefield, and he says, by the way, guys, my son is going to be the new king when I die. And he's going, up, he's going against centuries of Scottish tradition, uh, and he's screwing everyone who might want to be the next king, uh, and specifically Macbeth. Uh, and it is, we'll get to it later, but like Macbeth is, tells the audience, I'm not going to kill the king. It's not a good thing to do. And then he hears that, and he immediately turns to the, uh, to the audience and just says, fuck that guy. I'm going to kill him so bad. So he's getting screwed. Um, uh, so the theme of the play. Macbeth does everything that the gunpowder plot people did and worse. Not only does he plan to kill the king, he does it. And he does it while the king is sleeping in Macbeth's house. <laughs> uh, he not only holds a black mass, which could technically be described as... Well, not only does he hold a mass, which could technically be argued to be a black mass, he actually prays to a demonic force and, and pledges fealty to it and plans with it. But we can understand why he was tempted to do these things. The main reasons that he's tempted is he should be the next king. Duncan is screwing him. And Macbeth is ambitious, as we all are. Shakespeare chose the human failing that is most common in humans, he thought. Ambition. So Shakespeare seems to be saying that, yes, what the Catholics have done with this gunpowder plot is heinous, but they're still human beings like us. And that is the horror of the play, that these people are more like us than we want to admit. Um, we're all ambitious. We all get furious when we get screwed out of something that's rightfully ours. I've noticed that when I see someone who does something heinous, I have the instinct to say that they are nothing like me. They are a monster. And I think that this is dangerous. I think admitting that we're all capable of unspeakable acts is really painful and very difficult, but it's really essential if we're going to keep ourselves from falling. Most of us don't, don't do this. Most of us don't admit, you know, that, that, that we share a lot of things with people who do horrible things. And it's, it, this is why the play usually sucks, by the way. Um, <laughs> um, actors and directors usually distance themselves from Macbeth, and they judge him. And they are telegraphing, look, this guy's nothing like us. We know he's a dick. We know he's a fool. It's why when I first did Macbeth as a spear carrier, the guy who played Macbeth got laughed at every night. 
And, and I know that Shakespeare didn't intend that. So, the theme of the play is trying to get people to do something that they find very difficult, which is admit that they share a lot of traits with people that they revile. Um, so, this is an even longer uh, video. I forgive you if you didn't watch it all, but I, that was as quick as I could make it. I think next time uh, I'll just go scene by scene and describe how I think each scene should be done to kind of uh, achieve the theme that I just described. Okay, thanks for watching, and I forgive you if you didn't. Bye.